Welcome to Code with Kurt. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own custom HTML form. I'm going to show you how to make a menu button to call your form. And then with this form, this form will add names to your sheet, which I have a sheet called main, and I get a name and date. So if I add a name here, it add, it'll add it to my sheet over here. So I'm going to show you the steps how I create this with Google, App Script, and an HTML file. And I'm going to show you how they interact with each other. So let's get started. First, I'm starting out with a new sheet. The file name is custom form. The sheet name is main. And I got two columns created here, name and date. Next, I'm going to go to tools. I'm going to go to script editor. And the first thing we're going to create is our add record function. So we're going to do that first. And this is basically, this is what's going to add our record to our sheet. So I'm going to call it add record. I'm going to declare the sheet object. So now I got my main sheet declared the object. Next I'm going to append a row for our next record. So I'm going to add a row to our sheet. So with this append row I got my name and I got the date. So the, my name will go under the name column and the date will go under the date column. So I'm going to save this and uh, go ahead and name our project just name it custom form the same as our sheet name and we'll go ahead and run this and we're going to have to go through permissions so I'm going to select my account select advanced select go to custom form we're going to allow this and now it is running so if I go back over to my sheets, you'll see my name and the date. So that's the function that adds the name and the date. So next, we're going to tie our HTML, HTML file with this function. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit File. I'm going to hit New HTML File. We're going to give it a name. Call it Add Form. Hit OK. So now we got our form created. I'm just going to leave it as is for now. We're going to go back over to our script. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to call an HTML service that converts that HTML file into the form that pops up in the middle. So that will be our next function. First we're going to declare our form. So here we're stating that we're creating this HTML service that's going to create the HTML output. And here we're going to add add form, which is our file name that we called up here. So next we're going to display our form. And there's a couple ways you can do it. One way you can do it is a sidebar off to the right. And one way you can display it in the middle. And that's the way we're going to do it in this example. So in in this, add record is going to be kind of the title of our form. And then we're passing form into this to show. So we can save this and run it. We have to do a permissions on this. So we got come back over here and now it's showing. Now this is blank because we don't have anything in our HTML, but it, we got our title here, add record. We're going to add some HTML elements to our form. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create our custom menu button, and that's going to display our form. So we're going to do that in another function called add menu. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our menu item. We're going to call that custom. For there, we're going to add our 
start form function to a menu item underneath custom. And our last statement here adds it all together to form our custom menu item with this option underneath. So we can save it and run it. We go over here, we got it over here, and we can click that and calls our form up. So that is complete. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add one more function, an on open function. That means when we open this file up, it's going to add that menu option a custom to it. So that is complete for that. So every time we open the file up, it'll add that menu option so we can call our form. So our next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to our HTML file and we're going to add our name text box and our button so we can put our data in to add a record. So I'm going to switch over to add form here. We are in our body right here. And I'm going to put, I'm going to keep this really simple. I'm not going to add any any CSS or anything like that. I'm just going to get it right out there. So name, and I'm going to add a couple HTML spaces here. And that's this is the command for that. Next thing I'm going to do is add our input, where we put our name in the text box. So that is where we add our name in, and we're calling it. We're giving that an ID of name, or we're going to use that later to kind of combine this with our function call on the Google script. Next thing we're going to add is our button. So right now we just create a button with a value add. So we go ahead and save that, and we'll just go ahead and see what that's going to look like on our form. So if I go to custom, bring up our form. There it is. There's our name, and we can add it and add. But if I put anything right now in it, hit add, nothing's going to happen because we don't have our uh, our function added to our HTML, that connection. So next we're going to make that connection and kind of the final thing of this. So we're going to go back to our HTML file, and we're going to add some JavaScript code. And we're going to add a function in here. So first I'm going to declare, I'm going to come down here, I'm going to declare a script tag. I'm going to close the script tag here. So we got that. Next I'm going to add a function in here and this is a JavaScript function. We're going to call it add row. So the first variable I'm going to declare is my name. So when this gets called it's going to go look at that text box and pull that data. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use this Google app script that ties into this JavaScript that'll tie the code GS file over here with this HTML. So it'll call this function add record. This is not your typical HTML JavaScript code. This is kind of built into the Google apps. So it goes like this. So it goes Google script dot run dot add record and then name. Add record is our function over here, but now we got to pass the name through this. So we're going to put name up here, and instead of the hard-coded Kurt here, we're going to put name. So that'll pass anything that we put in the form straight through this function to the sheet. And we hit save there, and now we're going to go back to our HTML file, and we're going to have to call this function and how we're going to do that is on a click event on the button, like that. And we can save that. So now this should all be tied together with this HTML form with our functions to our sheet. So if I click custom, click our form, it'll pull up, and I can add a name here. Mark. Hit add. 
and that adds it over here and I can keep adding names in here and John so that concludes this video if you have any questions or comments please leave it below the video until next time